Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Pioneer BH270. I really like this floor plan, has a great layout and some excellent amenities. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. So what you'll notice is it's a pretty standard kitchen setup here. You have a little bit of space right over here and then some additional back here. But honestly, this back here is meant more for a coffee maker. And you'll notice right up directly above there, you have an electrical outlet so you know exactly where to plug that in at. Next to that's an LED light here in your kitchen to brighten things up during nighttime. And they actually have LED lights throughout the entire RV, which is great because if you're uh, boondocking, you know, you don't want to have the lights drain your battery down super quick. LED lights don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. During day, you have a window right here to let in all that beautiful natural light. If we take a look at the sink, you see you have the double bowl stainless steel sink. It is a double equal bowl with the high rise pull out faucet. That's a nice feature to have as well, having the pull out faucet there. It really makes it easy, you know, if you need to, uh, you know, use a colander and strain things, need to fill up a bowl on the side or just washing and rinsing dishes. Right over to the side is your three burner cooktop. It is recessed with the glass cover, so you're able to utilize that as prep space. When you need to use the burner, just flip it up like so. And it's pretty great because that actually doubles as a backsplash. The glass there is nice and easy to clean. Then directly underneath, you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. Obviously, take the paper out of there so you don't start a little fire. You have a cutout right here for some spices. And then right down below, you have a smaller cutout there. You may be able to fit a small trash can in there too. As we move over to the side a little bit further, take a look at this folks, three full extension ball bearing drawers here. That's almost a necessity to at least have two, so you have one for your silverware, then another one for all of your other utensils like your spatula, spoons, things like that, but they give you a third one for some of the extras even. Right up top here, you see some extra pantry space, maybe a good spot to put cups, plates, things like that. Tiny bit up above the microwave, you know, it's probably more for knickknacks than anything else, but uh, at least they did give you that as an option. Microwave right here, and then underneath is your hood with a light and fan. Kind of have the same thing up above the fridge, nice little uh, cubby hole area there. Dometic fridge freezer combo, six cubic foot. You can take a look in there, plenty of space. You have a couple extra drawers. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And as we take one step further back here, again, storage up top, but I do like this. You have a pantry in here. Far too often, this uh, floor plan like this doesn't have a pantry, and for me, it's almost a necessity. It gives you a great spot to put all that extra food, or if you want to use this for kids' clothes, you can do that as well. So it gives you some versatility based upon uh, your needs and your usage. Right in the back here is the bathroom. If you take a look right there, you'll see the foot flush lever toilet. Uh, next to that, the tub shower. I like having a tub in the bunk units because if you have smaller kids that still take baths, you don't have to break a routine. You can still give them a bath while you're camping. You'll also notice you have some shelves there for your soap and shampoo as well as a hand wand. And then right up top, you have the vent fan there to quickly help moisture escape as well as an LED light. You'll see on the wall a secondary entrance. This is great, folks. That way, if you need to use the bathroom or the kids do or guests, come right in, do your business, and head right back out. That way you're not traipsing dirt and mud through the entire RV. Over to the side of that, you will see the mirrored medicine cabinet. And of course, there is storage behind that. And then directly underneath is your sink top there. And you have some additional storage underneath there as well. In the other corner is our double over double bunk. We call that in the industry because it's double wide, double your standard length, or width rather. So the cool thing about this is if you have older kids, they're able to sleep here, you know, they're not super uncomfortable, it doesn't feel like a coffin. Or if you have a couple of younger kids, you want to sleep two to a bunk, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, you'll see 200 pound weight capacity on the top one there. The bottom one is going to be 300, so it gives you a little extra leeway. The cool thing, other cool thing I like about this, you'll see it's nice and rounded right here. Kind of has the, uh, the almost like leatherette soft touch front. So it just gives it a clean look right there. And take a look at the bunks, folks, or the beds themselves. You have nice thick beds here. A lot of times they're about half this thickness. It's basically like the kids are sleeping on wood. Not the case. These are nice and thick and soft. So the kids will have a good night's sleep. 
You'll also notice you have a window on both the top and bottom as well as an LED light. And take a look at this right here. You have electrical outlets right there on the top bunk. And for the bottom bunk, they have one right outside. Now folks, I know that we go camping to get away from electronics, but on a rainy day, giving them their own space here, letting them play on the tablet can be a lifesaver. It'll save you from pulling your hair out, or in my case, turning gray. You can see right over here that you have a, uh, a ladder that is built in. I really like this too, and the reason is because most of the time when it comes to bunks, it's the smaller kids that want to sleep up top. The older kids, the teenagers, you know, they don't want to have to climb up a ladder, they just want to jump right in. But the younger kids always want the top bunk, and it can, oftentimes it's hard for them to be able to step on here and jump up and in. So having that built-in ladder just makes life a lot easier. We take a look over to this side, we have our super slide right here. Uh, you obviously have the dinette and the sofa, but something else I want to point out, take a look right up top. This is pretty cool too. You can turn this off and on, you have a switch right here, so if you don't want it, you can always turn it off. But I, I really like it, it kind of has the up lighting there, you know, it just gives a, a little kind of appeal. When you walk in, you're kind of like, oh yeah, that looks nice, so I do like the fact they threw that up there. If we take a look at the dinette, easily enough room for four people here, and this can drop down into a bed. Simply remove the legs, the table drops down, take the cushions, put it on top, and that will create a sleeping space. Now mind you, it's not a huge sleeping space, so probably not the best for an adult. They'll have to curl up pretty tight, but for a child, it'll definitely serve its purpose, and it gives you a spot for to have the family sit down, eat a meal together, play a game together, maybe a game of Clue, Probably not Monopoly. I know as a kid that definitely led to some fights, but uh, you know, I, I do like having a set dinette in an RV. A couple of windows here, not just on the walls, but you have an additional one right here to help let in the natural light there as well. And then for nighttime, you have this light right up top. One of the things I like about this, folks, is this is an LED. A lot of times when you're, you're overhead uh, light like this, a lot of manufacturers are still using incandescent bulbs just because you know it's a little bit softer light generally. But if you're out boondocking and you know you want to use this light, you'll probably be sitting at your table quite often. That's normally a battery drain. So having an LED there is definitely a, a great thing to have. Moving over a tiny bit further, you see storage going across the top. You have the glass doors on there, but good storage. And then right down below is your jackknife style sofa. The big advantage of a jackknife, if you're not familiar with it, uh, they call it a jackknife because of the action, because it drops down into a bed. But your biggest advantage is this right here, and that is all the additional storage that you get underneath. It's a great place to put your extra bedding or other large items that you normally don't have a place to store in an RV. When we take a look right up front, this is another thing that I like that they've done. Uh, a lot of times the floor plan has your entertainment center right here, and you can you know, enter the bedroom from either side. But I think this is way better. You still have a great viewing angle to your TV right here. Uh, your multimedia center right underneath that. This unit is Bluetooth capable, by the way. You see you have storage there underneath as well as a shelf up top. But the thing I like about this setup is this right here. You have a mirror there so you can you know, kind of take a look at yourself, make sure you're looking good for the day before you hit the campground. Uh, but, so that's kind of neat. A little tray up here as well, so if you want to throw like keys and stuff up there, you can do that. A coat rack. I love having a coat rack. That way you walk in, you have a spot to hang your jackets, your sweatshirts, your raincoats up right there. And then you also have a bench seat so you can sit down and put your shoes on. As we step into the bedroom, you'll see right here they give you an actual slider door rather than a curtain. This is something else I like when manufacturers do, especially in a bunk model, because it gives you a little more privacy. Right up top you see connections for a TV, so if you want a TV in the bedroom it can certainly be installed there. And of course right here is the queen bed. On both sides you have nice big nightstands there. You'll notice you have electrical outlets on both sides as well, so if you need to uh, plug in you know, any kind of electronics or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you're able to put that on either side of the bed. Right above that you have mirrored wardrobes on both sides, you'll see the hanging space going across. And then in between the two, you have some additional storage. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Pioneer BH270. Starting off right up front, you have a power tongue jack. Folks, as we go through the Pioneer, you'll see they try to make setting up and tearing down as easy as possible, and it starts right here. You no longer have to wear out your arm cranking it up and down. Simply flip a switch, and that will raise and lower your tongue. And then you'll also see right next to that is a switch for a light there. 
It's not super bright, but it does add a little bit of visibility in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Directly behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. Super simple and easy to get in there. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door and you are in. And then behind that you have rails right here for your battery. Coming up the front, you'll see that you have black diamond plating there, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we come around to the side, you'll see the pass-through storage right here. So nice, clean pass-through. You'll see it's completely enclosed. You don't see any of the uh, structure or anything in there. You don't have any plumbing, any wiring. Just a very clean pass-through compartment. And right over here, you'll actually see you have your power stabilizer controls. That's right, now is this one equipped with a power tongue jack, but you also have power stabilizer jacks here. One of the controls will control the two front ones, the other control will operate the two rear ones. While we're down here, a couple other features I do wanna point out. Pretty tough to see, but you can kinda of see it right here. This one does have an enclosed underbelly. That's great because it'll help keep a lot of, uh, you know, hopefully critters out while you're storing it, but also a lot of the road grime and stuff. It'll just keep that underbelly nice and clean. You'll also see you have the uh, ground effects right here. It's all red underneath, and I like that for a couple reasons. One, it just looks cool. But the other thing I like about it is the fact because it does light it up, a little bit easier to find your camper at night, and more importantly, it lights up your steps right here. So, you know, if you're coming back from a late bonfire or something, you know, someone has their campfire, you're coming home, this will make sure you can easily see your way in and out of the RV so you're not tripping and hurting yourself in the middle of the night. We take a look up top, you have your power awning here, touch a button to roll it out, same thing to have it go right back in. One of the things I really like about the Pioneer too, they do, they do a great job with lighting on the outside of the RVs. I don't have it on right now, but in the barrel of the awning is an LED light strip. And folks, there's a remote in there where you can make it pulse if you want, and you can change it to pretty much every color under the spectrum. It can be green, blue, red, white, whatever you want, and that is built in. That's a standard, so that is something that I, I think is pretty darn cool. Also, the awning here has a super easy adjustable pitch. You literally just grab this right here, you pull it down just like so, and you can see it's on an angle now. Now, obviously, you can pull both sides down if you want, um, you know, to, to have the whole thing come down to help you know give you a little more shade during the day or you can have just one side down to help with water runoff the other neat thing about that is when you put the power awning in these will fix themselves you don't have to readjust it if you don't want just roll it in it'll do everything for you if you take a look underneath the power awning you see the uh, two red circles out here those are actually your outside speakers so not only are they functional but they also look cool those are controlled by that multimedia center inside but again, folks, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So you can sit out here underneath your awning and you can use your smartphone or tablet and play music through there. Now this one does have two entrances and exits. The main entrance is right here. You see the three foldable steps with the foldable grab handle. That way you have excellent control when entering or exiting the RV. The rear one right there is the one that goes into the bathroom. They don't have a grab handle there, but again, you're probably not gonna be using that one quite as often, but it still has the three foldable steps, so it is easy to enter and exit. Right over here, you see an electrical outlet. You'll also see a cable outlet. So, you know, if you need to plug anything in, whether it's a cell phone or a blender, or whatever, there's a spot to do it. If you want an outside TV, you can hook that up as well. Directly above that is your fresh water inlet to fill your fresh water tank. So if you're going somewhere where you don't have water hookups, you'll want to make sure you fill that up, and that is gravity fill there. Now oftentimes, of course, you know, if you want, you can just fill it up halfway, fill it up the rest of the way when you get there or whatever. Uh, but, you know, if you don't have any water, obviously fill it up before you go. Right here is your uh, water heater right outside there. Take a look right underneath. You see the wheels. I'll pop this off for you. So right here, these are easy lube axles. It's kind of nice to have these covers on here. It keeps it a little bit prettier. But all you do is you pop this cap off, and behind that is a grease zert. So what that does for you is instead of having to constantly repack your bearings, you can take a grease gun, pump some grease in there. Uh, and it's just a lot simpler process. It's a lot easier on the maintenance side. Now you do still have to lift the trailer up so you can spin the tires. There's some other things there, so make sure you do your research if you plan on doing it yourself or you can always bring it to a Camping World location. We'll certainly help you with that as well. If you take a look right here, you know, one of the great things about uh, 
about camping and being outside is cooking outside. I love being able to cook outside. And right there is your propane quick connect. So if you have a grill, you can set it up here, hook it up to that quick connect. Now it'll feed off your two 20 pound bottles up front instead of having to bring the small green ones with you. As we take a look at the back, there's certainly some great features back here as well. Starting off, you have the four inch square tubular bumper with the caps. That way you can remove the caps here and it gives you a place to store your sewer hose. That way it's not rolling around up front with everything else you have up there. And then attached to that, you will see you have this cargo rack. I really love when manufacturers put these on because it comes from the manufacturer. It obviously doesn't void your warranty and it's just super useful. It's easy to use. You just pop the pins out, drop it down, put the pins back in. You can put wood on there. You can put totes on there. You know, if you want to try to put some straps some bikes on there. Now, I certainly wouldn't recommend a motorcycle or electric scooter. That's certainly not going to work, but you can definitely put a lot of things on there for travel. Also mounted to that, you see the spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, you'll notice it's really easy to get to. If you take a look top and center, you'll notice this one does have a backup camera prep. This is a big RV, folks, and if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it a lot simpler and therefore less expensive to have installed. If you come around to the off-door side, a couple things I want to hit over here. One, outside shower. You'll notice this does have both hot and cold water access. Simply take your hand wand, you can stick it right there if you want, nice and easy to use. And then right underneath that is your cable inlet. 30 amp power cord just stores right inside the unit itself here. And you'll also see your city water connection is over here. And then right next to that is your black tank flush. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, what that does instead of dragging a hose inside and sticking it down your toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping. You just take a hose, screw it in right there, and it will wash everything out for you. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Pioneer BH270. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.